Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. We are at Marshall's and I am all over the store today. It's a long one. Are you ready? Let's shop. Starting off right here, $500 for this little table. It's actually a three piece set. I wasn't sure at first. I didn't realize at first, I should really say. Um, but it is and you're about to see the, look at them, the rocking chairs back there so good am i right this is why i started right here as i walked in and made my way to the back of the store when i saw this i was just like oh my gosh perfect see it's a three-piece set and it's martha stewart martha stewart has been doing it with all of the summer furniture i don't know if you guys remember that other um like backyard set that huge like couch situation that they had at home goods a few videos ago so good here's another set right here this one is the thomasville one y'all know thomasville remember those i mean i say like as if they're gone obviously they're still around <laughs> there's actually one not too far away from where i live but look they have a couple of pieces here at marshall's sure less cheaper than in the store 350 for that set so good of course these wicker planters love $30 for that bigger one super cute and then they have these right here a totally kind of like different vibe and style $16.99 for that medium one the smaller is $15 and did you see Tommy Bahama that's what it is. Lots of Tommy Bahama items. Martha Stewart is doing it, like I said. And also, I want to just say it again. I'm all over the store. Like, we are going. That's why the video is so long. We're looking at all of the things, all of these baskets, furniture, some Mother's Day ideas. If you're still on the market for some Mother's Day items, because it is this weekend which by the way happy mother's day to all you guys i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful one it's probably not going to be the last video before mother's day but we're talking about it so i want to just say happy mother's day and there's going to be plenty of items in here for such an occasion look at these poofs love they had a lot of these that's why I figured we needed to look at the furniture because there was a lot of furniture, a lot of these cushions and puffs and things. So good. The benches. Did you see that bench before? And there's going to be more for sure. But wait, there's more. <laughs> these are 60. As you can see, it just took me rolling these things all the way around just to get that price. 40 for these. Super cute. I love those. Here's more of the poofs. I told you they had a bunch. Now this one is 130 and I'm like, why? It didn't feel any different. It looks very similar, you know? Maybe it was a little more sturdy. That's why I kept pushing on it because I'm like, what is the difference between this one and the other one? I don't get it. I don't get it. But as you could see, you can like, it's zippers, so you can take it off and wash it and all that. So that's good. These little stool situations I thought were really cute. I really like like the, the base of it, like the, yeah, I guess like the little base, the stick, whatever, you know, I'll just hush about it. Here is one of those florals for $100. Remember the tulips? We've seen the tulips a few times. So now here's the hydrangeas, which is not as tall, but meanwhile it's 100 still. So there's that. This table, and it's on sale, clearance, what have you. I thought that table looked really nice. I actually really like it. If I was on the market for it, which I'm not, because I don't want to put a table in my living room right now, I think it would take way too much space, but that one would be such a good one. It would go really nicely with my couch. 
if you guys have ever seen any of like my home tours like for Christmas oh hi hey guys <laughs> um you would see that like you know I live in an apartment my couch is huge and I do have like one of those big ottomans that my husband loves to put his feet on we had to get it because he needed to be able to recline since the couch itself doesn't have a recliner he wanted to be able to still put his feet up because the couch we had previously did have recliners so this huge like ottoman because it's a big one again if you've seen any of my home tours and such or any pictures that i've posted showing my living room you would know what i'm talking about um it takes up so much space that i can't have an actual table right now here's more of those benches i love these i thought these look so good that one is only 80 dollars that's so good like the price point is not bad this one was so heavy i was just like wow and it's 180 60 dollars for this little shelving organizational little thing i thought these were nice i just didn't like the fact like they would be good end tables or like night tables maybe but that's only if you don't want to have drawers which i would want drawers because i need all the space i need all the storage space i can get look at these chairs i was so excited to see these as if i was going to buy them <laughs> i just thought it was so good it's six of them it's not often that like home goods tj maxx marshall's has like a set of six usually they don't even have a set of four and they look so good i love them and they had the red sticker these tables always get me too they i love these i love to see these this is another one that i would consider for myself if i had the space it's an air fryer the emerald air fryer guys remember emerald we're like going down memory lane over here emerald bam was that what he used to say is it bam oh my gosh now i forgot am i getting the right the wrong quote anyways let me know in the comments but who used to watch emerald on the food channel i was a huge fan like i mean he's like one of the cult classic food channel people that got me into like watching the food channel are you seeing what's happening here i am turning this thing left and right upside down yep thumbs down it does say that it's five in one so there's that it might be a good one i don't know but do we know the price no we don't because i couldn't find it <laughs> so here we go with some ray dunn what is a trip to marshall's or any of the sister stores without some Ray Dunn. You got, you have to see you have to. It's it's a part of it's a part of the trip. There's no way out of it. <laughs> Lots of mugs. I figured I'd point out some of the cuter ones. Bride, of course, because it is spring, going into summer, and that's all about wedding season. How cool is this one? How cool is this one? $7.99. I love it. I really wanted to get this. I did not, but, and look, it comes with a luggage tag, which I'm not sure what a luggage tag has to do with a mug, but it's cute. This watering can is super cute. A lot of India stuff. A lot of India. What else did I see? Philippines. Yeah. Lots of the stuff made like in India or like, or is it a collection? Are these collections within Marshalls? I'm not sure. This butterfly, I love. Who remembers? Was it a firefly or... I know they definitely had like a little frog or something. But Target had these last year by Opal House. So now here is a butterfly, which out of everything that I've seen in that gold and those... I'm not even sure what they're called, but like that butterfly vibe that we just saw... I would rather the butterfly. Like, I really like the butterfly. I think it's so nice. F 
focus. This little gnome thing would not focus. It's $7.99, a little gnome platter. All the galvanized items over here, including this drink bucket. I was so excited with this. See, another India item. Look at this. It comes with an attached bottle opener. What? I love that. Now here we're going into the world of the lemons. They're doing this cutting board all over the place. Meaning like that end piece, that handle piece having a little design action going on. Super cute. Over here they're doing it, the lemon with the blue. I was pointing out that they have the bag of lemons, which the ones here, you're going to see a couple of more, are so good. Can you see that? What did that say? I couldn't see it. I'm, I'm like, I think I have to get <laughs> a new prescription. I could barely see things that are like small like that. Here are the lemons. I think they look so realistic. These are really good ones. $10 for the bag. But this lemon decor here, like the plates that we just saw, I love those. Like I like these more than the like lemon collection we've seen anywhere else. Look at this guy. Yes, Tommy Bahama doing it just like Martha Stewart. This thing is awesome. $60. It has that really tall stand. You don't have to bend down to get the drinks at the barbecue. Yes, please. Doing it. And then look at this guy. Speaking of barbecues, margaritas. And it's about to be Cinco de Mayo tomorrow. Yes. $16.99 for this little thing. It was almost like the air fryer. I had to like finagle all types of things to get to the price. This little potted grass, it's really cute. Love the pot with the lemons on there. $20 for this little beehive. So cute. I thought the stray was really nice and it's only $15. Like, I mean, the price point. The price points at Marshall's are the best. The best. How cool are these plates? They're melamine, but if you're a Harry Potter fan, and I am, but not like that, those are awesome. How cool is this section? Did you see those gnomes? Here we go into the Americana section. Do you see what this says? <laughs> Make backyards great again? Are you serious? I'm sorry, it's funny. It's funny. It's so funny. I've never seen such a thing. Love this these plates. I love that it's like one, like one of each. It's a few different designs on there, prints. Of course, my favorite is the one with the stars. $8 for this one. I think it's a really good price point because it's not small. It's actually pretty big. Now, the big daddy right here is $25. I think he looks so cute. And notice the legs had those little scrunchy like legs. So it actually like lifts up and down. We've seen one of those before. I think it was for Easter. I just didn't try to move it up and down because it was full and I didn't want to make anything fall. These little guys I thought are so cool. Like, look at the legs. I love the legs on these little stands. Like I just said before, this. look at this. Look at this. It's about to fall. This display was jam-packed. They must have just put it out and filled it, I don't know, restocked it because it was so full. 
Love this bow. I think it's really nice. Like, I love that it looks kind of vintage-y. $8. Tommy Bahama again. And then look at what I saw. Yes. That star. Please stay. Look at this star. I love it. Is this not so good? Like, I love the whole Americana patriotic stuff in this store. Like, Marshalls is doing it. Who else did I say had, like, the best? Oh, Michaels. But you see how here it's, like, a lot of, like, kind of, like, rugged, vintage-y looking. Like, oh, I love it. Like, rustic-y. It's a vibe. It's definitely a vibe, and I love it. I think they're doing a great job. I just love the whole washed out of it all. That's what it is. Like, I like that it's... I can't find the words. Maybe I already said it. But you know, do you know what I mean? Do you know? $20 for the wreath. And these are like those little wooden flower ones. And then this runner. How cute is this runner? Stars and Stripes, which by the way, a lot of this stuff over here was Stars and Stripes brand or line, whichever one it is. But I really, look at this. Tommy Bahama again. What? Yes. These are the best flags we've seen. In my opinion, of course. $8, you get four of them. Look at the stick, the handle. It's like a natural stick. What? Yes. I love it. I think it's so good. I'm loving this whole collection over here. And then, of course, a little Ray Dunn action. They can't stay out of the mix. They got to give us some patriotic Americana vibes. 13 for the bigger star. Here are more bows over here. This star, you know already. You already know. If you've been watching, you know. It's $5.99, and I love it. I love all things star. Here's Martha Stewart again, doing it with the bow. And then this one is a little galvanized action bow. I like that it had the little heart in the middle. This one is 10, and it was Tommy Bahama also. And this one is 17. So did you happen to notice these from the corner of your eye, like when I was showing the bows? I did, which is why I had to come over here. Oh, here's another thing, a Vietnam item. A lot of like worldly places, which... I always known they had, but I always feel like it's usually more like the whole India vibes. But they were they had a lot of things. They had a lot of things. Almost giving me like world market uh you know, vibes, I guess would be the word. You know how world market has all the things from all the different areas. I mean, I guess that's why they're called world market. Well, Marshalls was feeling very world markety today. Look at these beads. Remember I asked you guys not that long ago or maybe some weeks ago about the beads. Is anybody still doing beads? Well, a lot of you are. Almost everyone is like, yes, on the beads. Just a few people said no. But these, I love. And that's what I think. I think that I want them. These were not it for me. But I think I want whatever beads I end up getting to be big, like a big, long, garland-looking one. We'll see. You never know. You never know. Now, here we're going into, like, the beach vibes. These reusable bags. Here's a little Ray Dunn one. I'm telling you, Ray Dunn is... Ray Dunn cannot be missed. <laughs> they are in every situation. 
a little anchor uh, driftwood I believe right this is driftwood that was 20 this one is 12.99 I love this little tray situation this little two-tier tray I love coasters too these were cute if this is your vibe which I know some of you guys do decorate in this um, style. $20 for this uh, two-tier tray. I thought that was really nice. My favorite thing over here was this little sailboat. The wood and then the sail being, you know, blue and white like that, $12.99. And then my other second favorite was definitely these little stars. They're, well, they're not stars, but look, I love stars so much. But, you know, starfish. They're stars. They're starfish. Here we go into the throw pillow world. This one was calling my name. I went straight to it. 25 It's very big. I thought that was a good price for how big that pillow is. And then this is like the square version of it. Or at least it kind of coordinates together. So then I saw the frame aisle and it was pretty full. So I figured let's take a look. Remember, I told you at the beginning... I was all over the store like I was just in all the sections looking at all the things and whatever I thought looked good and full and like variety I wanted to show it to you <laughs> do you see what I see you see the best Nana um, Ray Dunn frame telling you they're everywhere these were my favorites right here that first one right here does that not look like the new plates I just got if you guys have been here you know or if you like look at things in the community tab I posted that I finally did get my plates from Walmart I asked you guys uh, in that last Walmart video if I should go with the plain white the like dotted ones or that other pattern that other black and white pattern well guess what spoiler alert i did post it in the community tab but um i got all three and that frame literally matches us so perfectly look at these little risers i wanted to make sure you saw them because i love them i still haven't gotten any but i know we're all always looking for those and so marshall's has some right now these little guys right here and then of course tic-tac-toe and it's a coastal vibe $25 this is a huge board I love it I love a tic-tac-toe board I say it all the time it's like one of my favorite things here are some decorative boxes and those little luggage situations that we just saw of course lots of baskets and look at this it's a pack of three for ten dollars what how good is that oh and that reminds me i was talking about price point you know i often talk about how certain stores have a high price point well marshall's is so good right now the price points are so like fair i'm loving it it's the best like i really do think they have the best price out of like tj maxx and home goods and marshall's like out of those three stores marshall's i think has the best price point let me know what you guys think do you see mickey mouse down there i just wanted to show you him through the glass he was too far back for me to pull out look at all of these cutting boards it's like a cutting board frenzy over here i love it all I ended up buying this utensil organizer, but it didn't fit in my drawer, so I do have to return it. 
But yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you find Marshalls to be the cheapest one out of those three stores? Home Goods tends to be the one that's a little bit higher, but also Home Goods is so good. And, you know, they get some of the items that maybe some of the other ones don't get. So sometimes you got to pay a couple of dollars more for what Home Goods is offering. I'm just saying. Tear Tray Frenzy 2. It was just a frenzy all over the place over here. Now look at this little cuteness and guess who it is? That's why I took a second look. David to David Tutera. Do you guys know him? Remember on um was it on We? He had that bridal show and so this is like a bridal collection. $20 for this little bucket. The bucket is the cutest thing ever. David Tutera. I used to love that show. Let me know if you used to watch that. If you are still here, if you are still watching and you're here with me, definitely let me know in the comments if you've ever watched David Tutera's show. Did you like it? I used to love it. Was it on Wii or was it on TLC? I forgot. But I loved it. And look, and I knew he had a wedding dress collection, but I did not know he had like an actual wedding pieces, you know, those items we just saw. I didn't know he had that at all. So let me know in the comments if you're still here, which by the way, if you are, thank you so much. I appreciate you so, so much. Love you. And that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up. That really helps the channel so, so much. Also, do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any upcoming videos. And let's keep the party going by clicking one of these videos on the screen. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.